Hello everybody. Um, I'm going to give in this uh, video an example of a user-defined function or um, uh, uh, an m-file uh, that used to calculate uh, kind of complex uh, calculations. Um, so what we have here, this is called the redlish kong equation with state. Um, this is how it looks like in the polynomial form. Um, and uh, it uh, looks pretty much like the uh, van der Waals equation of a state. However, in this case, the A and B are not uh, just uh, constants. It, in this case, it's an equation calculated from the T critical, P critical, and alpha. Um, and this alpha is a function of T reduced, which is a function of the operating temperature and the critical temperature. Um, so in, in this case, to be able to do the calculations, you have to, do, to, to calculate the reduced temperature, then the alpha, then the A and B, and then substitute here and solve this equation, which is not an, 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 a difficult process, but it's a kind of uh, long process. So we will see how to do this uh, calculations. Um, and we'll do this for, let's say, CO. We have here a list of some gases that we know the critical and the temperatures and pressure for. So we'll do this for carbon monoxide, for instance, as uh, as a trial. Um, so uh, we will do two things. First, we will do um, an M file that includes everything with the temperatures and the pressure uh, that we we do the calculations on uh, to to calculate the critical uh, the the um, the specific volume. Um, and we will use the same file and convert it into a user-defined function and recall it from the command window. Um, we'll do the calculations uh, just to have some um, feeling of, of what we're doing. We'll do the calculations for ideal gas, which is pretty simple, and for the redlish kong equation of state and get the, the error um, in the uh, equation of ideal gas. Um, so I put this side by side uh, here so that we see both uh, files um, or, or the file and the MATLAB uh, here. Um, so we have everything uh, available for us to see. So um, we will need to create a file first and um, we will do an M file. So I, I'm gonna just write a note this um, uh, File calculates or this program calculates the specific volume of a gas or yeah, let's make it a gas using Redlish Kong equation of state. Um, you can see from here that you can press on this uh, button here uh, if you wanna. Uh, move to the next line for instance I'm not happy with this I press enter but then I need to uh, press I mean on this um, so that you you have the, the, the thing on two lines um, and, then, and then we will start I, I would personally like to break this problem into smaller parts so I would first make a part which is called defining um, inputs or, or the, the known variables. Um, so in this case, I would define everything I have. So I have the critical pressure equals 35. Um, and I will put a note here that this is in bars. And, and the critical temperature, which is 132.9. And I would put a note here that this is in Kelvin. Um, what else we know? We know the critical temperature and pressure. Let's say we will do the calculations um, at a temperature of, let's say, uh, 25 or 273 um, Kelvin, and which is the room temperature, and the pressure equals 1, and would make it um, atmosphere. Okay, so this this is the, the section that I used to define the variables. The second part, we, we are going to um, do the calculations. Uh, so calculate the um, variables, which is the t reduced, the p reduced, and and all and the the alpha and all these. So I would say t reduced equals um, t. Um, divided by T critical, which is already here, both the T and T critical, we will have the alpha 
um, which is 1 divided by t reduced power 0.5 of course it has to be uh, uppercase t so this um, is the same as uh, this okay um, and now uh, what we need to do is to solve the equation so the last part will be solve or calculate uh, V specific volume and total volume in, in this problem it says that the total or let's assume that the total volume um, no, no, let's let's put a volume from uh, as 15 um, I would say liter okay so so the units here would be in the liter atmosphere uh, and gram mole um, and Kelvin these are the units that we, we are using here um, so to calculate the specific volume we just use the uh, we, we will do both uh, we will say specific volume of ideal gas equals which is v over n um, which is r multiplied by t divided by p uh, we have not defined the r yet the gas constant so in this case 0.082 um, and the units would be liter I'm sorry liter atmosphere by mole kelvin um, so here we have the specific volume of the ideal gas we can calculate calculate the specific or, or the the total volume of ideal gas is, go, is gonna be the um, or let's say we have the, the, we know the number of moles I'm sorry the number of moles is 15 moles and then the volume would be the specific volume of ideal gas which is this um, multiplied by n um, and then but we need to have these uh, uh, I, I would call this file as rk1 okay um, and so now we calculated the specific volume and the total volume of ideal gas now let's see how to calculate the specific volume of Rayleigh Kong or from Rayleigh Kong equation of state. So this is a polynomial equation. So the way to do this is to use the roots function and to define the matrix uh, here. Um, so the coefficient of uh, v power three is p, and then negative r multiplied by t. So I'm getting this from here. The coefficient of v power three, the coefficient of v power two, and then we have uh, a. Uh, we already calculated. Oh, we didn't calculate A and B. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, so so let's let's calculate them first. So A equals um, 0.42748 multiplied by R power two multiplied by T critical power two divided by P critical multiplied by alpha, which we already um, calculated it. Um, and then B is going to be 0 0.08664 multiplied, multiplied by R multiplied by T critical divided by P critical. Um, so now we have A and B calculated. And now we can use them here. So this is A, um, which is here, minus P multiplied by B power 2 minus r multiplied by t multiplied by b and then the last coefficient is negative a multiplied by b so this is the specific volume of Redlish Kong the volume of uh, Redlish Kong equals um, the specific volume of Redlish Kong multiplied by n so this is all what we need to do the calculation and the file now should be ready to run and all what we need to do now is to press F5 or press run and when we do this it gives you some uh, calculation first it tells you that uh, let's see the specific volume of ideal gas is 22.386 um, this is from the ideal gas equation and the volume uh, multiply this by 15 so this is the volume in liters 
um, we see that we have here three numbers and we know that we have three roots um, for from the from the, the equation because it's a third order equation um, and the specific volume of Ridley's Kong would be calculated to be 22.41 these two are not uh, like important numbers for, for us just mathematical um, um, results that do, do not have physical meaning um, and we see that because we are operating at uh, one atmosphere and at um, room temperature, so mainly because the pressure is, is uh, one atmosphere, the volume is almost the same. We can also calculate the uh, the percent error because we know that the Redlish Kong gives more accurate results. So the the error um, is uh, gonna be the specific volume of ideal gas. Um, or let's make it Redis Kong first minus the specific volume of ideal gas we can get the absolute value so do not have negative in case uh, there is a negative value um, divided by the true the specific volume of Redis Kong um, so when we run the the um, the file we would say oh, we have to do the elemental division um, so, uh, well, uh, it's kind of, uh, yeah, it's kind of deceiving because we have three numbers here and the last number was very, very small, so the error is very big. Uh, so we can, it, it's, it's not the, the best way to do it, but I would just, uh, because I know that the, the first value is the uh, true value that we are seeking, I would do these calculations for only the first output of the um, ideal gas, uh, or I mean the, the redless cong resonance. Um, so the error is 0.12%, uh, and this, this makes a lot of sense. We can, um, I'm sorry, we can redo the calculations um, with higher pressure. So let's say this is 10, um, and we do the run. Now the error is 1. To almost 2%. If we make it 100 and we do the run, it's 10%. You see the, the, the error is getting bigger and, and, and each time you do the calculations uh, at higher pressure, the error increases. So there are more deviation uh, than we, we we should see in the uh, from our, or from the ideal gas. So anyways, we have now the file um, ready um, as uh, 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 an M file, just a program. And let's say I want to make a copy uh, of the file, so I'll save this as uh, RK1 UDF, which is going to be a user defined function. And in this case, I would um, convert it into a user defined function. So I have to type a function, and we need to see what outputs we have. So we have the specific volume of ideal gas, um, which is going to be the outputs here, and the specific and the volume. Uh, I just uh, gonna copy the this from here so that the spelling is true, um, and we get the specific volume of Redlish Kong and the volume of Redlish Kong. And the last thing was the error, and this is gonna be called RK one underscore UDF. Of course, it has to be the same name that's here. Uh, so the the program will not give you an error, and it um, it needs to or, or the the inputs that you need to define to the software or the, the, this this program is the temperature and pressure, and you can also uh, program it so that you uh, you, you uh, provide the critical and uh, temperature and pressure so that you are not bounded just or, or you're you're not calculated only uh, calculating only carbon monoxide calculation. Um, and in this case, the temperature and pressure are, are now going to be provided by the, the user, so I don't need to worry about them. And everything should be the same, just at the end, type in so that it understands that you are done with the program. And now we can, um, here in the command window, um, I can uh, ask it to produce the five things, uh, A, B, C, D, and E. And these are gonna be the RK1 um, underscore UDF of uh, we would say 100 
um, this is the temperature it's 273 and you see it's giving you a hint here telling you that you have to enter temperature and pressure which is pretty pretty nice and the pressure is um, 100 I'm doing this just to compare the results here with the results from the previous run and um, and from this you can see um, that this is what we got from previous uh, run it's 0.2239 it's exactly the same number 3.3579 and um, this is the specific volume of redlish kong this is the volume of redlish kong and the error is 10.75 uh, so it's giving the same results but in this case the user defined function takes the input from the command window not from the same file so it's easy to convert from a user defined function into an m file or uh, the other way um, and there are other things that uh, we are going to see in the future because we couldn't do them here first is uh, to ask matlab to get the number uh, or the first one without specifying because you might have in cases that the the true answer is the answer number two uh, or the, the the second value it's not the first value uh, in this case this this will not work it's going to be uh, giving you wrong numbers uh, the second is that uh, I, I i might need to say uh, or, or uh, get the output as a, a text um, let's say i want the output to be the specific volume of uh, carbon monoxide using ideal gas law is uh, a number and this number is going to be extracted from this uh, this is something we will see in the future um, so I'll, I'll, I'll talk about them later uh, but just I want to tell you why we would need this stuff when we move to them and, and start talking about them um, so that's all for today and I'll see you next video inshallah goodbye